Are you still confused about how to set up the equipment set? These settings may differ between each player, especially spender and non-spender, but I think this information can be used as a reference. For equipment 1 I think everyone is the same i.e. war equipment. For equipment 2 I use this, I will try to explain its function and all its benefits. For helmets, the benefits we can get are training capacity and healing speed. Then for boots the benefit that will be taken is healing cost. For hospital capacity, we can't get it because we can't possibly wear these boots during war. Except when we join a mega rally, then we can use it. For necklaces, the benefit we can take is training capacity. Lastly, the ring, the benefits that we will take are the cost of training and healing speed. So this equipment setting function is related to troops, namely to train and heal troops. And the most important thing is to heal troops, because during war we have to change equipment quickly, so this is the most important thing because besides being cheaper we are also faster at healing troops, so this will make us save resources and also speed up or gold. The weapons and armor that are used are to keep the power from dropping too much. Because the enemy might pay attention, as I often do during new world events. I wait for the enemy to switch equipment while he heals and try to hit him quickly when he is at his weakest state without his war equipment. So a minimum of weapons and armor will give us some stats, so better than nothing. Now let's see the difference. First to heal the troops. To heal 5000 troops the time is 17 hours. And 2.5 million foods. And now the time is 11 hours, this is 6 hours faster than before. It's about 30% faster. And food to 1.9 million, a decrease of 600,000. It saves about 25% more. Then to train troops. As we saw earlier there is no troop training speed benefit from this equipment. There are only training capacity and training costs. Let's compare. So now we can train 1000 troops more than before with this equipment set. Then for training costs. We can see there is a difference although not too big. And the important thing is that this equipment is free so everyone can use it. Maybe there are still those who don't know so I'll explain. So here it is, Lieutenant Equipment Set 2, you can make it here. The scroll used is the basic battle ingot. And you can get it from the Red Guard chest. And for a spender, this is better equipment, because in addition to healing speed and training capacity, this equipment also provides training speed benefits. And the percentage is also much higher. And you can also add gemstones in the equipment to make it faster to train troops. I don't know how much additional percent of this gemstone is because there is no data. And I didn't buy it either, but I think other channels have already covered this. So basically equipment set 2 is related to troops. Train and heal. And this is the equipment I have, because for me the training sets and training gemstones are too expensive so I can't afford them. Furthermore, the third set is related to research. And all I have is gemstones to reduce research costs. I bought this when I first started playing. The price is not expensive only $5. It is well worth buying as it will reduce research costs and some research even becomes free. Especially when starting to play it will be very helpful. For the equipment is purple opulence. 
I used to buy it at once with gemstones. Its function is to reduce the cost of upgrading the building. So it has nothing to do with research, but I set it like so this can also be at the same time to upgrade buildings. Its price is also $5 the same as gemstones for research. And this is quite important, headgear hat of prosperity, the benefit is for research speed. And merchant shoes, also for research speed. So the important thing is that gemstones are combined with these hats and shoes to speed up and reduce research costs. And this splendor code to reduce construction costs, like I said before this the set I can also use for building. Although I'm specializing the set for research. Now let's see the comparison. You can see that besides the cost is cheaper, the time is also faster than before. And for non-spenders you can make it like my account on this one. Only put on shoes and hat so research time will be faster. So even though it can't reduce resources it can at least reduce speed up usage. Let's compare. It's 6 hours much faster. And for the spender you can buy the scholar set to reduce the research costs even more. And combine it with savant gemstones. And if you want faster then you can use a combination of economic equipment. One of which is free is the prosperity set. Prosperity shoes and this hat of prosperity will make your research much faster so it will save you a lot of speed ups while you are playing. Although the resource costs are slightly higher. And it depends on your situation and condition and also your wishes. Want to save resources or speed up? I prefer to save speed up because resources don't matter because there is a farm account that can fulfill it. And to make this equipment using basic development ingots. You can get it by killing threat. And the last one for the fourth set is for construction. And again depending on whether you are non-spender, low spender or big spender. Because in this case there are several types. So it depends on the economic capacity of each of us. So I combine the appealance equipment with the rare splendor that I got for free. These two splendor equipment can be obtained for free when the castle reaches level 30. In addition to reducing resources, this equipment also reduces the use of badges. And these two sets also provide a bonus benefit of construction speed. So it's better rather than using merchant shoes which only provide construction speed even though the percentage is slightly higher. As a low spender this is all I have. Because I've never spent up to $50 in a month on this game. And honestly this month I didn't even spend at all. I also even reduce the time to play because I want to focus more on real life. The most important thing is that I can still play and spend time on things I love and feel the thrill of some wars and laugh at jokes. For Hat of Prosperity the goal is to save speed up, as I said before I prefer to save speed up. While Appealance Cap only reduces resources a bit so I don't think it's a good choice. Now let's compare. You can see the comparison for yourself. In terms of time and resources the difference is quite a lot so try to maximize and use the right equipment before doing it. And for the spender you can buy better equipment which gives more resource reduction. Of course the most expensive is the best so it depends on your finances and your wishes. 
but even without this we can all still play, so don't push yourself, because as long as you have a farm account and play it regularly then resources won't be a problem and can meet the needs of your main castle. And for non-spenders can use a set like this account. I don't think the sequence number is too important as long as we remember and can switch quickly. Because that's the goal to make it easier for us, so we don't replace them one by one. And if there is an empty slot, always fill it with war equipment, the purpose of which I said at the beginning of the video. And if you guys notice I didn't set the farmer set. Because I don't think it's important, and it's too risky to go offline using this set and no bubbles. Anyways we have farm account to generate resources. And for those of you who are new to playing, never leave your castle with other equipment other than war equipment. Because an attack can happen at any time even if you feel the situation is safe, so at least you are at your best in case of an attack and don't let others burn your castle easily. And for the spender if you are thinking of buying this equipment set, then you should not unless you already have it. And use it only when you are under a bubble. I hope this information is useful and can help you, especially those who have requested this video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you.